Hello, I'm Scott McIntyre, Vice President of Product Marketing for Amulex Corporation. We're going to talk a little bit today about managing storage for virtual servers. As a leading provider of connectivity solutions for, man for connecting servers to storage area networks, we know many of you who are implementing virtual server technologies are doing it by putting your virtual servers on a storage area network. It only makes sense, after all, you need the flexibility that a SAN provides to you as you provision storage for multiple virtual machines and as you migrate virtual machines from server to server. But we also know that you tend to run into some challenges maintaining your storage area management tools and your best practices as you go from the virtual to the physical environment. We're going to talk a little bit today about why that is and what you can do about it. Let's start by considering the physical server environment. We've got a couple, very simple picture here, a couple physical servers uh, attached to a storage area network. Let's say we've got a finance application up here and an HR application. And they've each got storage out in the sand. There are a couple of things that you typically do as you manage these kinds of environments. First best practice is around zoning. You want to have your servers zoned in such a way that they can't get at some other server's storage. So typically, you'll have a zone for this finance application that will include its storage and zone that away from the HR application and its storage so that the HR application can't get at finance storage. And the way you do that is by keying off the worldwide name on the HPA on that server. The worldwide name uniquely identifies that server to the SAN, and that's what we use to manage zoning. We also do things like array level LUN mapping and LUN masking to make sure that the finance application can only see its storage as well. You also probably have things like quality of service tools that manage service, uh, I.O. service through the SAN uh, on behalf of that application that also keys off the worldwide name. And you may even charge back storage utilization and capacity utilization uh, based on that worldwide name. So let's now move forward to the virtual server environment. Let's say we've got a virtual server here with a couple of virtual machines, one for finance, one for HR, and they've got their storage out here in the SAN as well. Now at first you can say, well, we've got a worldwide name here. So we can zone that server to that storage, but the problem obviously is you've got multiple applications and multiple virtual machines now running on that physical server that you want to zone away from each other. How can you do that when they're all sharing the HPA and, the, and sharing the worldwide name? Well, a couple of years ago, IBM and Emulux got together and developed a te technology called Endport ID Virtualization, or MPIV. MPIV essentially allows us to create virtual worldwide names and map them to the physical ports on the HPA and assign them to the virtual machines. What essentially what that does is it gives each virtual machine its own identity in the SAN. So we've got a finance application here with virtual worldwide name A, and the HR application has virtual worldwide name B. Essentially what that allows us to do is provide a virtual connection for those virtual machines into the SAN. So now I can restore that best practice of zoning just one server or one virtual machine in this case uh, to, to its storage and keeping that separate from the HR application. I can also do things like charge back storage utilization, not just to the physical server, but all the way back up to the virtual machine based on its virtual worldwide name. There's an added benefit that comes when you actually want to move that virtual machine to another physical server. Let's say we're going to migrate that finance application over to this physical server here. Well, the question first is, how do you do that if this physical server that you're moving this finance application to doesn't have access to this storage? It's not in this zone, right? Well, the way you do that is when you migrate that virtual machine, it's going to carry its virtual worldwide name with it. So this virtual machine is now known to the SAN for this application by this worldwide name. And so it's zoned. moves over to the new physical server. That's a technology called MPIV. If you want to learn more about MPIV, you can follow the link at the bottom of this web page to a white paper that talks about this technology and managing storage and SANS. You can also follow the, the link to the Emulex website, emulex.com, where we've got a lot more information on import ID virtualization and managing storage for virtual servers. I'm Scott McIntyre from Emulex. Thank you very much.